Try some beer and wine and other spirits too. Blaster cast is coming to you. Hey everyone. Welcome to Plastered Cast. I'm Mike Wiley. This is the show where we interview some interesting people, drink a few drinks, and hopefully uh, that equals fun. With me as always is <gasps> James Webb. It's me. James Webb, how are you doing? I'm I'm good, buddy. How are you? Ooh, you know what? I'm not doing too good, James. Why? Uh, I can we, I just say there's something I need to um, get off my chest. Okay. There's something I need to uh, confess. All right. All right. I'm a fraud. What? I'm a fraud. What do you mean? I've been doing this show. Um, I'm m- making people believe that I knew what I was talking about. That's not true. But you do know what you're talking ah, about. That is not the case. What are you? It was a facade. What? Mike. I have a little bit of knowledge, right? And I thought I could, I could coast with it. Mike, I listened no. to you. I believed you. Everyone believed me. Oh. I have I have tens of people who listen to this oh my God. and think that uh, you know they're getting some good quality information. Well And that's not the case. But you know what? What? We're gonna I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna fix that for okay. you guys. All right. Because I have a special episode today. Okay. All right. Or I have a guest who uh, they know their stuff, right? Okay. They know their stuff, they're uh, expert. So uh, this is we're gonna we're gonna have a uh, uh, some of these episodes this is going to be a, a new uh, new category. Okay. Uh, this is what I like to call a the first ever. This is volume one okay. of uh, Plastered Cast Masterclass. I'll throw that. I'll throw that in there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so we got a great guest tonight. Um, he is a uh, he is an expert in wine. Wine. That's a big deal. Wine. Right? Yeah. Wine. I've heard of it. Yeah. We're going to find out what it is tonight. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Max Lusk. Oh. How you doing? I am fabulous now that I'm here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you've been sitting there for a little bit. It just uh, appeared out of you nowhere. You used <laughs> interesting words like expert and someone who knows what they're oh, talking about. So, Oh, yeah. are you not Are you not that? Uh, oh, should I get someone I else? I like to uh, pretend that I am. Okay. So, so you're, not, okay. <laughs> you're not one of the, what they call, what is it, uh, some sommelier? Uh, Semali- I, how, do we, how do you say that? Uh, sommelier. Sommelier? Uh, I definitely like, don't like have the, enough money for that. Okay, uh, you need money like, for that. Yeah, uh, so how does it turns that out you have to drink a lot of wine. Okay, and uh, I don't know if you're aware of this. Wine is expensive. It can be. Oh, uh, uh, we're gonna find out. It's not so expensive. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, so, uh, so what is the process then of becoming a uh, sommelier? Oh, how do they know? Well, how do, how do I, you get to that point? You need a lot of practice. You have to uh, practice. buy bottles of wine. Okay, you, do, Taste you them. have to buy them? Yes. You, you, so you have I, to have no, the receipts. No, your, parents, your parents could buy them. Your parents can buy them. I don't yeah, want, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh. I don't want <laughs> mommy and daddy money to pay for my sommelier classes. Uh, well, then you are definitely in the minority. I'm sure uh. everyone would love to have that mommy and daddy money. So, wait, would, so would you take a class? To, uh, to do that? You, you, you know, it's, uh, you take a class. Uh, so there's a couple different things with wine. Mm-hmm. So like sommelier is the most common thing. Everyone knows about it. Well, sommelier yes. is like, uh, but it's more artistic, Sorry. if that makes sense. No. Like it's not, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not really based in science, if that makes sense. So the uh, wine master, uh, a master of wine, mm-hmm. that is more of like the chemical understanding of the process of creating wine. So there's a wine master. Yes. A wine master and a sommelier. Two different people. Are two different people? Well, you could right, be the same get, person. We're getting really deep in here. You know what I got to do first? I got to, we got to start off, we got to drink something, right? Uh, we're going to start off. This is uh, this is what I like to call uh, a little segment I call uh, Wiley's Fridge, right? Yeah. This is where I pull some of the craft beers from my fridge, try to get rid of them. So uh, the first thing we're going to be drinking, uh, well, I mean, throughout the show, um, this is a beer. Uh, this is a sour, sour ale. Uh, this is called uh, Three Types of Yes by St. Errant. I don't know if you're familiar with this. Oh, it's very. A sour ale with strawberry, banana, and guanabana. Ooh, you know? you yeah. Let's, that? let's completely that blow out our palates before we drink it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love, I love St. Errant. They kill it. Yeah, that's very nice. That's not going to kill our palates. Right? Uh, sure. We got water. We got LaCroix. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure Banana, can... strawberry, guava. We... Not a strong flavor profile. No, 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 no. <laughs> definitely very subtle. Mm-hmm. Um, can definitely really taste the ale. Yeah. 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 T- definitely tastes like beer. Uh, 
So yeah. All right. So back to these uh, these uh, masters and pirates. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what would you like to know? Uh, okay. You sounds... said there's. You said there there is a difference between the two. Yes. So sommeliers. Uh, it's like a. It's, God, it's such a weird program to talk about just because this is a weird program you know fair uh if i'm being quite honest i be quite honest i don't really fucking get it i just yeah. you know it, it's huh? like this whole thing you have to go before a board blind taste wine know what you're talking about say this t- wine tastes like this because of xyz it comes from this area which is known for this and blah 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 blah, blah. and you have to be able to Bring that information up on the spot. Okay, right? okay, well, wait, wait, wait. But you said you, you also said it was an art, right? It is. So well, is it your more... taste open to interpretations? I mean, I, it always is. That's yeah, th- that's so the you big can thing. say whatever. Yeah, I mean, okay, well, no, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, it's they, art. Okay, exactly. It's, My it's, palate it's like is shatter, abstract. It's, it's like a, a, a shadow council that like decides whether Ooh, or not you're worthy council. of like really? being a sommelier. This sounds like a, a, this sounds like a good. Like, it's like it's like rating. Movies mm-hmm. like the the MPA, right? Sis- it's like yeah. Siskel and Ebert of wine. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that's yeah. Sure, we'll mm-hmm. go with that. Mm-hmm. So but uh, wine, but mm-hmm. wine masters, mm-hmm. you have to understand the chemistry of wine. Okay, not just. And how does that help? I because there are uh, wine is chemistry, booze is chemistry, right? Mm-hmm. You, uh, you take yeast. Yes. Feed it sugar. Feed it? Like yeah. Like a spoon? Exactly. You mm. you know, Mary Poppins that shit, and then it farts out alcohol, <laughs> and we drink it. Oh, I don't think I like alcohol anymore, the way uh, you describe yeah, it. Yeah, but, you know, I... <laughs> some debauchery tastes good. Mm. Well, so how did you get into wine? Uh, I lied my way into it. Okay. Yeah. So I uh, moved to Illinois. Oh, about... People might be watching who know that you've lied. I... <laughs> They're going to take away your certificate. Well, I know what I, I wish I had a certificate. You I, really I have, have a certificate? I have a level one certificate. A level one? Yeah, because uh, COVID. So I've been doing this for four or five years now. Okay. I moved to Illinois five years ago. Okay. I needed a job because I have a background in actually uh, performance art and art history. Oh, really? Yeah. Theater. Yeah. Like, Theater uh, like a lot of like people. Me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, not like you. But I, like, I, like you know, people. I'm like, I'm also like a theater imposter. I, I, I was, was a theater imposter. Okay, okay, yeah, like you. Because yeah, I yeah. was, I, I went to college for theater, and I was miserable at it. Uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm good at it. I'm just, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just a terrible actor. Not in terms of like, like I can act. I just, well, like, obviously not because you got your, uh, your wine. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I moved to Illinois, mm-hmm. you know, because I wanted to have proximity to performance, right. and I needed a job, right. and so I wasn't finding anything, and I applied to a local, what I thought was a liquor store. <laughs> Turned out <laughs> it was a wine shop, which uh, uh, involves different. Very, oh yeah, yeah, yeah different yeah, clientele. Yeah, yeah, a lot less brown bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, um, yeah. So uh, I went in with like I'm like googling grape varietals as I'm going in, which at the time I didn't know that that's what you call grapes when you're talking about wine. You call them varietals. Mm-hmm. I had to have my. I didn't uh, know that either. Yeah, so I. Had well, I mean, I my... knew that, but like before I before I started working at exactly. it, before yeah. you started drinking professionally, right? Um, this is professional. Yes, very much so. Um, so yeah, I'm like uh, Wikipediaing. Yeah, I know the difference between Cabernet and Pinot Noir. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, they, they're different grapes. Uh-huh. I just don't have any physical experience. And then I got the job, and then I lost the job, and then because because they f- they figured you out. It, no, it, it's it's they a lot more scummy. Figured you out. I, yeah. They didn't care. They it, you know it was more of a body <laughs> and a place. And okay. like I'm a quick learner and I can retain yeah. information. Right, it's right. just like you know something I'm fortunate to have. Can't remember names for life of me, but like wasn't well, that a lot of wine i mean a lot of names yeah. a lot of french words and yeah. italian words well, it, and... it turns out a lot of my job is being able to tell that this is french and this is italian mm-hmm. a lot of people <laughs> can't do that i guess i i sometimes have trouble with it exactly mm. you know it's, I it's just one of the so... that's one of the few things i'm fortunate <laughs> but um i i lucked out on uh but you know they kept me around i was eager to learn do some stuff uh lost my job i i like went out of town for my birthday come mm-hmm. back the owner's like yeah didn't sweep up before you left, and this has been an ongoing problem. So that's it. You're done. Ah, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Well, the one thing you forgot to learn. <laughs> clean, <laughs> clean up, apparently. That guy's also a total slob. It's like the, it's the kind of thing where you're like vacuuming the carpet, and then like, this dude comes in like uh, eating chips yeah. and crumbs are falling like everywhere. Pig pen. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. It, it's, it was like that kind of gig. Um, uh, that's when I learned that the food industry, the food industry, is just entirely scummy mm. yeah, you know you just like you, you just lie you just like yeah so you just you just kind of 
fell into it. Right? Exactly. Because I've always been like, wine has always intimidated me. You know, I, I think that's by design. It's like people because they want, want people you. out. They exactly. don't want yeah. The that's established why, wine. That's like why all the here. good shit is expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, rich people think only they can appreciate it. Mm-hmm. So you know, they buy it where they can. They create the demand and they deplete the supply. And then, you know, when you look at a wine cellar, it's just hoarding. I also have very right. controversial views about wine. I you know. I, well, I mean, no, no, express them. I want to know. I want to know. Uh, what they do. <laughs> I, you know, wine is just so like Eurocentric. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's like you have the entire globe, that the, the planet, yes, that is capable of growing plants, mm-hmm. fruits, yes. Uh, why is it that all of the most expensive wines come from European countries? And it's like you know you have traditional history, and you know there's a, there's yeah. a lot going on. Politics, exactly. Yeah. Hey, you politics. All the freaking wars. The the front France is the center of the wine world, but they got all their technology from the Dutch. So I, you know, you're kind of just. I'm sounding like you know history too. Uh, yeah, it's almost like a, like an art history or something. Ah. Um, so, you know, but like you have all of these guys that have hundreds of years of winemaking, and they're going to other places around the planet making wine now. Mm-hmm. So you have like wine coming out of South America. That's right. incredible. Mm-hmm. And you're spending an average of like ten dollars a bottle. And then you have these guys making wine from France, and right. it's like 250 and up. So why? Why is that the case? And it's like, you know, the history of the land. Uh, you know, you have, like, pervasive wine laws because mm-hmm. there's a lot of wine yes. fraud out there right. and stuff like that. Well, and I'll, like, and one thing I, I learned is, like, the term vintage can only be used in regards to wine, correct? Yes. You can't, like, uh, any kind of, like, a bourbon can't have a vintage. I, you could. I think. I, mean, I think. I think. It, you know. You have the United States bastardizing a lot of things, so you're yeah. allowed to. Like, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, bourbon also has weird legal requirements, though, too. Right. Well, could they learn, they learn that from wine? <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. So, um, so you have a lot of a lot of these wines that are um, more expensive, ostentatious, um, ostentatious. Yeah. Um, and then there's so. And as far as like storage and stuff like that, like not not every wine gets put in a cellar for no, years, no, right? No, I, yeah, yeah. Like why is that? I mean, is that necessary? Yes and no. I mm. mean, the whole thing with alcohol in general mm. is that uh, you're fighting time, right? You're fighting right. the oxidative process. We're all process. fighting time. Well, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking mm-hmm. old. We're shit. all like we're all like alcohol. Like yeah. I'm kind of like a fine wine. Uh, you know we I mean? are definitely all sitting here oxidizing. What was that? Was the the <laughs> what did some guy say? What's the the mystery of meat? Are you familiar with that? You the can slow ro- of meat. You can you can slow roast. I don't know the mystery. Google the mystery of meat. Uh, it's it's like a thing. You can slow roast, uh, you know, a uh, brisket for several hours yeah. at three hundred fifty degrees, and you mm-hmm. get something awesome. But yeah. the human body sits here at what, like ninety eight degrees, and nothing happens. What what's going on there? You know what I mean? Well, I th- I mean I think uh, what. Uh, I I've gotten more awesome with age, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think people do, right? I mean, mm-hmm. that's the whole idea. Right. You're supposed to be learning, growing, yeah. developing. Right. Ideas are supposed to we're change. Do, we're doing that right now, right? Uh, in sure. My audience, Correct. we're learning some stuff today. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, you're listening to a lot of bullshit. Um, oh, you jump and talk about you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. All right. You want to start? Uh, let's. Uh, we have some wines here. Yeah. Let's. We're gonna try. Uh, yes. Here's the thing: is like. You know wine, mm. even though you say, oh, I don't really know. Um, I know wine. Okay, I know <laughs> wine. I, I have gleaned knowledge of the wine world, mm-hmm. and I just have controversial opinions about, again, the Eurocentricity of wine. Mm. And it's too expensive. I, you know, fuck rich people. That's uh, that, <laughs> it's, 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 it's the kind of the gist. I'm a millennial. That's all I have to yeah. say. I got nothing interesting beyond that. Um. So, we're going to... I'm gonna blind taste these, taste some of these wines. All right, we got uh, some uh, wines from uh, from different price uh, points, right? And uh, I'm gonna see if I can't because you said it's all bullshit, right? No, I I said okay. I think I think alcohol in general is too expensive. Mm-hmm. That is my thesis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you know a lot of it is marketing, right? Especially uh, products are designed yeah. to be consumed a certain way. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna in your mouth, <laughs> out your butt. Yeah, yeah, right. uh-huh. exactly. I, uh, you know, there are there are things that are designed to be comfortable, right? They're supposed uh-huh. to be accessible. They're supposed to be easy. Yes. But then, what happens when you take something that is supposed to be easy and then you put a hundred dollar price tag on it? Uh-huh. And I guess we're trying to sit here and 
see if that's legitimate. Does that mean anything? Right. Right? Yeah. That's I, what think, we're I, think, I think that's what we're trying to do. Okay. It's not my show. Well, I don't know. I'm glad we... I'm glad we... <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows? I might fuck up and... I, I, I don't know how you can fuck up. We're just drinking. I mean, we're just... Yeah. Oh, I... Well, I can choke and die. All right. All right. So... So, we've got... All right, we're going to start with uh, with our – we have uh, three white wines. They're all Chardonnays, right? Yes. Um, so um, – and they're uh, uh, from different – they're different price points. They're different price points, not, and uh, they're room temperature. And they're room temperature because, I, I mean – That's okay. We're not fancy here. Right, right. So, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to look at these bottles first. Look at them. I'm gonna Assess look at them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, then I'm going to pass them over Tell to me you. your thoughts. Yeah, I want to I wanna see, see what I'm looking at. So, so this one this one we got here, uh, this is uh, – uh, Claude de Bois, right? Claude de Bois, yeah, Claude you're there. Bois. Ah, look it. at me. Eh? Boom, you're there. Yeah. See, why does it hard? So there's a 2018 Chardonnay. Okay. Um, from California. So when it, uh, when we we talk about uh, vintages, yes. years, is there ever a big difference between the years? Yes and no. Uh, Claude de Bois, mm-hmm. no, no. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, La Fatite Rothschild, yes. That's the, but that's by design. Right, so Claude de Bois, they are creating a product yes. that you, as a consumer, are going to go to the store and buy, and it will always be the same consistently. Mm-hmm. They want you to have the so they, same experience the, every time. It's the like point is for it to always be the same. Exactly, they okay. want you to be comfortable buying for that. They want you to rely on. That's just your weekly bottle, your daily mm-hmm. bottle, whatever. Mm-hmm. What what have daily you? bottle? Oh, you'd be surprised. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, uh, you know, I, okay, fair. Um, but okay, so and there's a lot of X factors that could change the way a um, a wine tastes from year to year. Yes. Right? So, like uh, temperature, humidity, mm-hmm. rainfall, soil composition, whether or not they are getting their grapes from the same place as they did the year before, because some people don't necessarily have vineyards. So you have Claude uh-huh. de Bois over here, which is well, used to be a winery. At the start of the year, they were bought out by Gallo. They shut down the place because Gallo is like this massive wine making I, monster. Okay. Like they are the biggest wine production in the United States. They, if you have a favorite bottle under ten dollars, they probably own it. It probably comes from the same place as every other thing they make. Okay. Well, because um, this, because this on here, it just says California. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, that just means they uh, got grapes from all over the place. Right. That's what I'm saying. Is like a lot. Of, like when people think of a good wine, the more, you know, the the more the you smaller, know. Yeah. Like <laughs> the more you know. Yeah, right. The, like um. It's it's yeah. The, the more transparent it mm-hmm. is. The, m- the more it gives you stuff to think about, right? right. That, that kind of stuff. It, it gives you more complex tasting notes, uh, allegedly. Mm-hmm. Like a lot, I think just with our understanding of chemistry and contemporary science, like we have the ability to manufacture these things, which is what we're going to try and see. Right. So, like, Claude de Bois came from Claude a physical Bois. winery. Okay. Uh, butter there's, there's, over, we have a metaphysical here. winery. I, I like to think about nice. this. I, you know, um, I like to think, what if I had money and could sink a million dollars into a useless project? Uh, <laughs> I, that's a really good way yeah, to lose money. <laughs> I, 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 look, seriously, it's tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, you it's tough have people there. that think they're just, gonna, this world. they're just gonna plant some seeds in the ground, they're mm-hmm. gonna go grapes, and they're just gonna pick them, and you, you know, you're just gonna make right. wine. Right? Well, it's all, you gotta, so Chardonnay, it, when you say Chardonnay, that is the type of grape. Yes. Right? That is that the is varietal, the, right, right? That is it's what they call the varietal. See, look at right? that. Right. Oh, well, here's the thing. Well, I always, I always wondered. So, how come, uh, like, wine grapes have all these nice fancy names, but I go to the old Jewel and it's like green grapes, green grapes. What? They're different grapes. They're different. What? I can't make wine from those. I mean, you could. It won't taste as good. Why not? Uh, because the different grapes are used for different things. Uh-huh. Like they're different. Has, plants, has right? anyone ever tried? Uh, yes, uh, plenty of people Ooh. tried. That's probably why they are in the supermarket and not uh, being Maybe sold to a winery, max. which is super lucrative. Maybe that's something they overlooked. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could... In the thousands, <laughs> the thousands of years of people just leaving fruit out to rot and, and then <laughs> eating it. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't come Have to people mind. People been doing this. I mean, isn't that where are, wine came are from? These my isn't ancestors. Where... Gross. Isn't that isn't isn't that the idea? Like, oh, uh, we discovered booze because we let fruit from some caveman was just like, oh shit, I forgot. I, don't, to... I, don't... I left the fridge open, and then they go and they get their yeah. grapes, and then they. It was like, holy shit, this feels good. All right. That's the idea, right? I guess. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, that's that's the clo- Clodobois. Let's, let's, let's line it up. Sure. Right. Well, let's just right. go. All right. Well, hang on. We're not tasting yet. Because I want to I wanna 
go through all the all the whites. Okay, okay. And then okay. I'm not gonna I'm not, I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna have you pour. <laughs> And James is gonna make gross noises. Like this yes. isn't a classy episode. I, we're drinking warm wine. Sh- there is James. nothing classy about warm buttery chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not when you it's, say it like it, that. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah. We might as well be drinking, uh, you know, Kool Aid and Everclear. I'm here for it. But anyway. <laughs> not all of us have are have the money for indoor uh, refrigeration. I don't buy wine because I don't have any way to store it. I live in an apartment. I have you don't buy wine? Heat. I mean, okay, I don't buy wine to save. I buy wine to drink. Oh, right. I buy it, take it home to go with my chicken. You know, I want to uh-huh. enhance my meal. Mm-hmm. I, I like the European ideal that wine is. You just grocery. said you don't like the European ideal. I don't. I don't. I don't like uh, how expensive <laughs> the European wines can get. Okay. And you know, you can get some cheap ones that are really yeah. good, and it, it's it's just this whole political piece of bullshit that I just philosophically do not agree with. Okay. I, I, raw materials should not be that expensive. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, raw cook cook those materials. <laughs> Hell Get yeah. their price up. <laughs> okay. um, so this, this next wine, the, the, another Chardonnay from California as well. This is uh, this butter. Butter. So not yeah. as a fa- not a fancy as it's as not meant clo- to be fancy, right? But n- neither is that. But that's got a fancy name. Uh well, that this was is just butter. This, so this has been around since like the eighties, early nineties. Okay. 80s, early 90s. Or just butter. Butter, butter has been around since like butter th- since like I don't know the Obama presidency. Like some okay. guy was like, "I'm not making enough money at wine. Uh-huh. What if I made a wine as affordable as possible that people would like?" Okay. So he. Well, so and we what the weird so, thing so is, so this doesn't come from an actual vineyard. Where where this like doesn't come from, does this come from the supermarket? Uh, is this in the dairy section? Uh, <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond. To that. <laughs> uh, so it, this was just made in a lab. Basically. This was made in a lab. Like uh, yeah, wow. like uh, basically the, you have like independent. Uh, uh, this is lab you know, uh, uh, fermenters. You can go and rent a tank yeah. and then put so some like, booze in it and mm-hmm. then make your own wine. And yeah. it, you don't have a it's physical kind of, so kind of like a like a meth lab. Almost. Yeah, a meth lab. Like a home for, lab for uh, <laughs> butter wine. Yes, butter yes. chardonnay. That's yeah. Okay, you got it. So and right, like so, this- so that is designed to go after this market, where this is like an ingrained. Uh-huh. It's been around for years. They wanted it, they they wanted it to seem fancier than okay. you know, it was at an affordable price. Right. This is like this, but we this- just want to make something you like uh-huh. that you can spend money on every day and it's not going right. to kill you. Well, and and but they're also trying to go after the Claude Bois people. Yes, right? they are still trying to go after those people. But these are this one's a little more expensive though, right? Yeah, slightly, but I don't know. That's a but maybe they're price. maybe they're trying to like, hey, we're a little more expensive than the Clos de Bois. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a little real step up, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, people who yeah, don't you got know. it. Yeah. All right. That's, all right. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and okay, here's the thing. So, um, the the Clos de Bois there, uh, that's got a that's got a cork. Yes. Yeah, people like the cork. Yeah, they this do. this is this is a twisty cap. It's the future, baby. This is the future. That's a lot right. of people see this and they're like, oh, it's not as good. Well, a lot of people don't believe in science. Uh-huh. So like, what are you gonna do? Well, cause, I, yeah, because this was made in a lab. Yeah, you got so it. So obviously, yeah. it's like the Bruce Banner. <laughs> uh, no. So the whole thing is that like with corks, you, they come from like a physical plant, cork, right? Uh, and so There's a cork can, plant? Yeah. A uh, tree, right? Uh, I don't know. Well, let's Google that. That's, yeah, that's Google, Google corks. I had beer before I came over, so, you know. Did you? Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Someone's got to calm my nerves. Oh, I have terrible, oh, again, I'm a terrible a, actor. What is that, Skyrim? I have terrible what is that? Fright. <laughs> this is the cork oak tree. Yeah, there we go. Why did the they just call it the coke tree? Oh, I know why they didn't call it that. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what chocolate is? I don't know. We're talking about corks right now. Though. Yeah, we are. So it's okay. cut, it comes from a tree. Yes. Okay. And so and there's no there's trees in the a lab. specific bacteria that can infect cork, and then that can ruin the wine. Yes. Basically. Yes. All right. That, yeah. Okay. That's so, what, it, what it means when it's corked. Yeah, That's exactly. Another thing I know. It's, it's yeah. not because it tastes funky. It's because there's an actual yeah. bacterial infection in your wine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's funky wine, and then there's just wine yeah. that will destroy your guts. Mm-hmm. Um you completely remove that with this. Oh, yeah, exactly. So why are we still using corks? Uh, because you said people like it. Okay. Tradition. Tradition. I mean, that's the thing. When you look at Europe, you look at right, you, know, yeah. you, you look at France, you look mm-hmm. at Italy, you have hundreds of years of winemaking tradition, right? Right. Um, this comes to play in things like uh, organics and biodynamics. You have people that want organic wines because they have this idea that it's healthier for you mm-hmm. than wine. That's... Well, that's that's oh, that's with like all organic stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, but same concept. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you you have people, but like a lot of people use it as a selling point, right? Yeah. You have people that have just been doing organics and biodynamics forever. That's mm-hmm. just how their dad taught them. That's how their granddad taught them. They, you know, it goes back generations of family. Mm-hmm. So they don't feel the need to market their stuff like that. That that that, that does nothing for them. You have to pay for a certification. You have to pay to have someone come out and say, okay, yeah, yeah this looks organic. Yeah, you got this. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of people just don't. They don't see the point. I've had I've had vintage wines that are, uh, you know, a decade old mm-hmm. in a cork. A lot of uh, Australian, uh, New Zealand wines, they, they do corkscrew because that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's easier. Like, you don't have to pull out a fucking... Yeah, no, like, a tool? Like, like, when I, <laughs> like, when I came here and I pulled out a corkscrew, you know, I keep the motherfucking thing on me. Mm-hmm. We t- pull it out and then we... Uh, we <laughs> like, here's the thing is it is impressive when you pull one out and you start opening bottles. I, it's, it's like, like people like, see that. It's like, oh, like that guy the, knows wine. That's the one thing you Let's put him on the podcast. For. And then he complains, ah, wine. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just such a cryptid. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, You're I a cryptid? was shocked when you... You're a cryptid? Yeah. You a Mothman? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, cool. I mean, I don't... I don't. Mothman's a big wine guy. I was surprised you found me on Facebook. <laughs> I, you know, that, that, that is by design. Accident in high school, but by design as an adult max. Mm. Um, okay, we so about? we were Cryptids? talking... We were, yeah, we got there. I mean, sometimes we trail off, but that's just because we're having fun. That's what we're here for. Uh, we're talking about butter, and it's got this nice cap on there, Hell which yes. is better than cork. Don't let the... Don't fall for it. Don't let the establishment fool you. <laughs> All right. You got it, man. Yeah. Okay. We got All another right. and the final Chardonnay. Then we have Mir Soleil. What is What's it called? Mir Soleil. Mir Soleil. Mir Soleil. I, I'm also probably butchering it. I, I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, Sun. Yeah. In French? Yeah, that's that, because that's... that's what it says on the back here. That, oh, cool. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Mir Soleil, meaning sea and sun. Really glad I did my research. Mm-hmm. Um, What's a reserve? What does that mean? <laughs> what, what are they reserving it for? This podcast? It's for you, yeah. Oh, sweet. Just for Just you. for me. Uh, you, typically, a reserve is something you hang on to for at least two years. Oh, or wait, so. I didn't hang on to it for two years. Yeah, it's yeah. Be yeah well, the winery. The winery. The okay, winery holds on to it, ages okay. it, then releases it. Okay, this it. is a 2019. Allegedly. So I don't, yeah, okay. Allegedly? So, this is, so, here, so what Uh-oh. we did. <laughs> I don't, okay, I don't want to. Go on no, record talking no, shit about record. the Wagner You're family. You're on record. I'm not going to. Oh, are these the Wagners? Gonna, the Wagners yeah, do this? the Wagner family. So okay. uh, people of Camus fame. If you've heard of Camus, that's Camus? a pretty. Who's Camus? Uh, it's a... Charlie Wagner. Yeah, see, look yeah. at that. You're learning maker. so much. I just Why? had to read the back of the bottle. You should have just had the. I should have just had the bottle on the that's podcast. That's what I'm saying. Oh, damn it. I God. fucked up. Really? I <laughs> this could have just... been so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. All right, so. All right, so. Yeah. Uh yeah, we got some Mirsal Ale from okay. the Wagner family. Uh-huh. Legendary wine people. They're legendary they, wine yeah, people. They're well known. Uh I don't know. Grapes of Wrath. Are you familiar with that? Yes, I read that. Yeah. So this, like it was there it was there grapes? Uh that guy was there yeah. during when that was happening. I think was it his yeah, wrath you know. too? <laughs> we'll find out after we taste right. it. Um so you know, you have great grandpappy Wagner mm-hmm. moving out to um California, buys parcels of land. Uh, is eventually, this a true starts story. Playing. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah straight okay. up. Um, yeah. Starts planting grapes. Mm-hmm. Prohibition happens. Mm. Kills your, you know, wine industry, and then you know, eventually, the family's like, "Oh, let's make some money off all this fucking territory." I uh, know, you know, a, you know, the ne- couple of generations come by, and they're like, "Oh, let's start doing wine again." Mm-hmm. Um, they produce Camus, which is like a, a legendary Cabernet. People love it. It's expensive. It tastes like yes. a raisinette, so it's really. I like yeah. raisinettes. Exactly. Yeah. You want to spend they're eighty? Not- you want to spend ninety dollars on a bottle of wine? Drink raisinettes. Drink or ra- I, I don't know. I don't want to spend ninety dollars. Nah, no. probably not. Yeah, but y- mm. y- y- you know, I, to that all that, that sounds aside, good. Boozy raisin. Ass. Hell yeah! I mean, mm-hmm. I'm all about it, but I don't want to, you know, g- drain a paycheck, drain drain a day of wages mm-hmm. trying to drink a bottle of uh-huh. wine. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't need a whole bottle. No, you can just I have do. a sip. I have a sip. That sounds but very this, nice. But this, but um, this, uh, this bottle here, this, it's got a lot of. So this, this bottle, rather than like the, the you like, have, you the have butter. Like, <laughs> Old school. You right. have butter made it by a lab for consumers. Okay. This is like designed to be everyday consumer product. Yes. And then you have the step up from that. Okay. And that's the step. So this one has a lot of information on the um, on the bottle. Here. What did it tell you about the winemaking, though? It says uh, Highland Vineyards cooled by winds. Yeah. Well, it's from the, the it's, it's, it's it's from cool the Santa by... Lucia Highlands. Right. Obviously. I mean, that's the big thing about. Um, yeah. It's harvested from October tenth. To October thirty first. That's October. Way. They're really getting specific. Yeah, they are. That they is, want, but they won't they tell you. you okay, but they won't tell and you it, how they aged it though. I guess it, was my yeah. Thing. No, they did. It's barrel fermented and cellared. That's how they uh, aged how long? it. Um, 
I don't know. It's seven hundred and fifty mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they didn't. It, they they told her didn't say shit. Okay, well, but like we're, we're talking. talking about a brand. Wait, there's of some more stuff, man. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, there's okay. some more stuff on the back here. Uh, what is this called again? <laughs> Mer Soril. Chardonnay. Mer Soril, <laughs> meaning sun and sea, takes its name from our coastal setting. What is this accent? This I is. I was wondering. This is. is what everyone sounds like in Fairfield, California. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Correct. <laughs> with That's sunny exactly. skies mix <laughs> with gusting maritime winds. <laughs> Those Californians. <laughs> like <laughs> This vine is produced from just, hillside. Just finish vineyards. reading it. I'm Let's reading get to it. drinking. No, but uh, I thought this was... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I didn't trying mean, to, I didn't mean to kill your vibe. It's no. your show. No, I, no, I, I, there was no vibe. Right. Uh, it's barely my show. <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Uh, oh, you were asking how it was produced, right? Yeah, like yeah. What, what information is it? You said about? you just asked me how. Yeah, it was how long produced. was it aged? Well, hang on, I just got to a sentence that said this wine is produced. So we're gonna find all out. Right, all right, this all wine right. is produced from hillside vineyards Ooh. in the Santa Luci- Lucia Highlands, whose dramatic weather provides ideal conditions for growing Chardonnay. Yes, California has dramatic weather, which is yeah. why it's great for growing grapes. Mm-hmm. That's so, it. yeah, they, that's what they, we know. They just and come it, in, and it contains sulfites. drop a soliloquy, and then the winds blow off. And there's a government warning. Right? Well, none uh, well of the legally, other... there has to be a government warning. I mean, they can't, well, you know, why? Okay, wanna... here's the thing. is like you're saying, it doesn't tell you anything about how they made it. You don't I... put your secrets on the bottle, otherwise everyone's going to be making Mare Solil. I mean, the... Uh, it's like you don't put your special sauce on the Big Mac. Uh, yeah. I, right? I, 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 the, the Big Mac special sauce is just like ketchup, mustard, mayo, and then like... Uh, Thousand Island. Yeah. You yeah. motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that just the tale as old as time. That just went out into the world. And you now... Oh, got shit. You're going to need to cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even think about it. Oh. But already now everyone knows it. So no more it's McDonald's. Than, like uh, mentoring the no mouse. No more chicken nuggets. No more Big Macs for us. <laughs> That's it. You're not gonna no get more that. shamrock You're shakes. You're not going to get that sweet Mickey D's sponsorship you've right. been waiting for. All, All right. right, so yeah, so that was the Mare Solil. That was uh, so that's the that's the twenty dollar price point on that. All one. right, see how so, much more information you got for that extra five bucks. Is that? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I got I some mean, is information. There, is, there, is there a story on the? There's no story no, on the no, butter. There's no story there's on the, no story on the <laughs> butter. <laughs> no, no story on the butter. You know? <laughs> oh wait, there's a story on the clutter ball. Oh yes. Our classic Chardonnay offers bright, fresh flavors of apple. Pear and citrus mingled. Wait a minute. So okay, here's here's my problem. All right, all right, all right. okay. All right. So all right. so th- any anytime someone drinks a wine, all right, they're saying, oh, I, I I detect notes of apple, pear, and citrus, right? Yeah. But it's grapes. Yeah. Well, what, they fucked up. No, they're just. If like, someone gave you apple juice and it tastes like orange juice, you'd be like, no, thank you. You should be, yes. <laughs> yeah, fair. I mean, right. but when you go into apple juice, you want it to taste like apple juice, right? Right. So they are just trying to quantify subjective um, tastes. Mm-hmm. You know, like you and I taste things differently. We're different people. Do I, we? Are ideally, we? all right. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so we taste things differently, mm-hmm. right? There, there's no like, there, there's there's no way I can project what that tastes like from my brain into your brain to me. So one day, people one day, one so day. people try to <laughs> Yeah, looking at you Jeff Bezos. Um so we are trying to give you an idea of what you can expect from the bottle. These mm-hmm. are just uh, uh abstract concepts we are trying to quantify. Okay. When 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 we're talking about tasting notes, like mm-hmm. you know, uh th- this wine has notes of raspberries. There's not actual fucking raspberries in the wine. Right. I have to tell people this all the time. Right. Um <laughs> You'd be surprised. Uh, you, I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> you know, fair. Uh, yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? We're talking about uh, tasting notes and why <laughs> it doesn't taste like grapes. I mean, we haven't even like dra- we haven't even tasted wine yet. Sure. And uh, we're already like, I don't know what's going on. Um, but no. But, so these are subjective things that we are trying to illustrate, okay. right? So that's why you say, oh, what does that say? Pear and crisp apple. And it says, someone can try that and they yeah. taste pear. Someone can try that and they taste crisp apple and they're like, what the fuck? I don't get this pear, no, this honey crisp, blah, blah, blah. It, it's, honey crisp? I, I'm <laughs> making leaps and bounds. <laughs> so I, 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 my job is <laughs> bleeding into my uh, casual life. Okay. My real life? Well, that's why know. you're here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it, really. Okay. There, it's, it's, it's just to describe what 
you are getting out of your product and what you can expect from the winemaking process. Because that's the whole idea is that you're, we're, when making wine, you want to create a sensory experience. That mm-hmm. is why we ingest alcohol, right? Um, I, mean, I, I drink just to get fucked up. That's a sensory experience, it dude. Is? Oh my god! <laughs> your, your, your I experience. Love, I love sensory experience. You're man. fucking <laughs> numbing down those fucking senses. I'm gonna, dude. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a sensory experience right now. Oh, there we go. Mm. Mm. That was a. Oh, those senses. Was man. that a sound bite or was that you it's actually be, drinking? I hope you uh, recorded. Recorded that. that? <laughs> yeah. Put that up for free I think somewhere. I, did. I hope you because re- we're supposed to record this whole thing. the whole thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You know, whenever I open my mouth, people aren't missing much. Uh, So, yeah, that's the whole idea. We're, you know, it's just like this wine reminds me of this thing I tried at one point in time, and hopefully uh it does the same for you. It is not a literal thing. So, yeah. So, one time I – so, there's also – you, you, there's also smells from the wine, too. Yes, yes. Uh, so, one time I tried a wine, and it smelled like uh, rubber. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like petrol, it, tire rubber. Not, no, those are. What, but it wasn't tire rubber. It smelled exactly like I don't know if you remember monsters in my pocket. <laughs> oh um, shit! I, <laughs> I remember that smell. No. Yeah, it smelled exactly like that. A little bit before my yeah. time. I saw yeah. the commercials, but before yeah. my time. That was before your time. Yeah. How old are you? Uh, am I allowed to ask that? You can. Oh, you're not the uh, out there. I mean, what do you think I am? Uh, we've done this before. I Shit, know I, I have. <laughs> Shit. I, have, I, fuck. I, I always go under, though. You should. Like, I think, I mean, to be polite. I mean, I, I, the last time I said 35, yeah, I would okay. put you at a solid 35. Yeah, solid like 35. Street. Honestly, it's Why just not? once you go, once you once you do the big chop. What's the big chop? Shave your head. Yeah. That, that just completely... Yeah, you're ageless. Exactly. Yeah. Well, because I used to have long, really long, like wispy hair. By the and way, I looked ten years older than I do right now, and this was ten years ago. You are completely <laughs> right because I tried to look this podcast up on. Um, oh, YouTube. you found some of my. <laughs> yes, yes, I saw 2008. Mike mm. Wiley rocking. I should the take those down. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna watch them right Dude, now. This is history, baby. Mm. No, we're not we, gonna I wouldn't do that. Social media, you. that's what you're doing. That I'm sure you could. Me. I'm sure you could find me doing bullshit videos in like. You high got school. bullshit videos in high school? Oh, of course. Mm. You know, everyone watched Jackass at some point. Hell oh, yeah, bro. What? Yeah, you jumped off shit. Oh yeah, onto of stuff. Of course. Sweet. <laughs> it's very problematic. Please don't pull those up. Like it's definitely <laughs> a peak. Uh, white boy humor. It that was your peak. Don't. Is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no peak. Uh, I peaked in college. No, uh, yeah, okay. yeah. that's mm-hmm. why it's just downhill from there. Um, okay, let's let's start. Let's, let's get back on track. Have, yes. Yeah. Okay. We have. Let's start tasting some wine. So what what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna you're gonna just grab one of the one of the whites at random. I'm not gonna look. And you're gonna pour one for me and you and James cool. here. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to guess which one it is based on price point, which one, well, the, the quality I think is in the bottle. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. I'm going to look down. So while you're doing that, uh, oh, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to read, uh, I'll, I'll read a famous Mike Wiley tweet, uh, oh, while we're wow. doing it. Feels um, so, uh, so there's not dead air. I'm so happy um, that camera is not above your head. <laughs> glug. <laughs> glug. I've been glug. making Manhattans glug. with Malort instead of whiskey. I call it a lower whacker. I don't get it. Roman numerals, not on my watch. Uh, I poured the wine. You don't have to keep going. <laughs> <it>. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, yeah. you spilled. No, I one. definitely did. Yeah, I you didn't... were too quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely also increasing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you go, James. Oh. Thanks, buddy. All right, Gra- go ahead, grab one for yourself. I'll there. take a all right. smaller pour open. Okay, uh, all right. So let's, uh, let's get some of them. Uh, some of them. Are we are we cheersing to the notes? We're we gonna take the notes first. And yeah. Do we cheers before we smell it? Is sure. that how that works? I also. How does it of, work? I, uh, Wine don't expert. Ask me that stuff. <laughs> I just want to drink. <laughs> um. I mean, I don't think people typically cheers wine. I mean, wine's pretty bougie when you think about it. Okay, right? but here's like, the thing: know, is you're the wine guy, and you were the one who went for the cheers. I definitely wanted to cheers. Yeah. Now Can I'm we, offended. You know now we, I can't. Okay, it's what, too no. late. Well, the moment's let's, gone. Let's <laughs> we can't cheers here's, anymore. Here, no, yeah, we can't. We'll, we'll, I don't know. We'll about smell that. it. We'll do the nose, right? Yeah, nose it, and then we'll nose it, and then we'll cheers. But pinkies up when we cheers. Nose it, then we show it. All right, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, we just cheers, kind of. Yeah, that don't count. All right, what am I getting? Oh, oh, okay. What are you getting? Are you getting? <laughs> Here, let me get it. Let me get away from the mic so I don't just breathe heavy the whole time. Yeah. 
Uh, mm. Isn't this the dead air you were talking about? No, 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 no. This uh, this video, so they people want this. people are <laughs> enjoying my uh, my beauty. Your visceral reaction. Here, while this is I, while the dead air is on, we there's can no put dead air. My <laughs> Wiley clip up from eight years ago. <laughs> yes. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> this is one of. <laughs> All right. Look at that hair. Andy Kaufman Award? Nice. Oh no, I, that was just my uh, my sub submission. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the award. I tried though. But... Oh, that's my old Immortal T-shirt. I remember that. All right. Like okay, I'm getting uh, maybe nectarine, uh, nectarine or peach. Yeah, I'm, okay. de I'm definitely getting something around that. Some uh, stone fruit? I don't know what that a stone fruit is. <laughs> a, a fucking peach? Is a stone fruit a peach? Well, what's in the middle of a peach? A uh, pit? Yeah. Yeah. Stone. Is that, they call it a stone fruit? Yeah. Why? Well, who, they, who calls it a, a stone blanket, fruit? That is a blanket term. Well, I believe that's a just plum a plum. is it's also a, a stone fruit. not a blanket term. Because I'm not, like, like, I'm going to curl up inside a stone fruit. Well, well there's a difference between oh, stone my. fruit and orchard <laughs> fruit. Yeah, don't you know? <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, no, we, I thought we were going to cheer. All right. I just I forgot. Oh, okay. <laughs> it takes so long. I just, you know. Did you just chug that whole thing? I can. I mean, it's warm Chardonnay. I don't want to savor it. All right. So I'm getting uh, slightly dry. Not too bad. Um, I'm not getting much of anything, though. Not getting much of anything. All right. No. Well, it is uh, room temperature. You don't get that. You, you don't get that nice, refreshing. It's it's nice and refreshing, but it's not as crisp. It's not. I so I'm gonna. I'll think about it as if this was 15 no, degrees cooler. Please don't. <laughs> I don't want to know what those thoughts are. Um, okay, so not much of anything. I mean, a little. Um, I mean, there's a little dryness to it. Um, it's light. It is refreshing. Definitely. Light, light. Um, uh, honestly, does it, taste, does it taste boozy at all? It doesn't taste boozy at all. It doesn't taste uh -huh. boozy? Okay. It tastes like dry green grapes. Do you get any sort of like spice? No, no spice at all. No spice, no, no vanilla, sp no. No, I'm not getting a vanilla. Okay, okay. And should I be getting a vanilla? I, it's your mouth, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right, it is my mouth. And if <laughs> my mouth be. don't want vanilla, it doesn't get fucking vanilla. Hey, get them fucking out of here. You, mm. hey, hey, you vanilla, you don't get in the fucking game. Right. Get out of here. Okay. Um, well, here's the thing. It's like, okay, so it's not it's not creamy. And now I'm looking at this butter word here. So I don't know if that I, has see, anything would, to do with anything. See, okay, so you don't think that's creamy, right? I don't what find is, What does your tongue feel like right now? What does Just, it like, feel think like? About it. Yeah, think about it. Do you ever think about that? It feels like it's bumpy. Uh, do you feel like, uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but like, seriously, are, are you salivating at all? Love that. Okay. Does it now think about that? Like, do you feel a coating on your tongue? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, no, and no. then, as you rub your tongue it's like there. around your mouth. Okay. A little bit smooth. It's a pretty smooth ride, right? It's, it's not like no, you're feeling it's everything. Fine. Right. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So, so creaminess. That's it. That's that's the, what the that's feel, what I'm you're feeling. feeling. I'm you're feeling, feeling creamy. A little creamy. See, right this now, is right? this is the kind of stuff I need to know. Are what you? am I okay, feeling? You could also not be. I'm not you. I don't know. Sometimes here's the thing: is like sometimes you don't you don't know what you're experiencing. Because you haven't experienced it. You know fair, what I mean? Fair. Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. We got three wines here. We got three. They're all technically supposed to be like, creamy. Allegedly. Yeah. They claim to be creamy. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, this is the first time I've had Chardonnay. You've never had I've Chardonnay had, before? I've had Pinot Noir. Oh. I've not had Chardonnay. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought, I've see, had more for red me, wine. I feel like, you know, Chardonnay gets such a bad rap because everyone tries, like, their moms or their grandparents, like, mm -hmm. cheap ass, terrible Chardonnay, mm -hmm. whatever will get the job done for them that's, like, simple, sweet. I, like, I feel like most people have a negative experience with Chardonnay. And mm -hmm. the fact that you're like, I don't have any opinion. I've never tried it. I feel like right. it's very atypical. Okay. I I went. I actually wanted to pick these because I figured yes, you would yes. have. An, Max, Max picked these. So, I figured yeah. you would have had an experience with this at some point. So okay. so yeah. this will be. No. This is gonna be. This a is why more I wanted fun. to do this. This yeah, is gonna yeah. be more fun. Uh, not more. You fun. You didn't think you were gonna have fun today? I'm. A, wreck of existential dread i never no, have fun right. um <laughs> like i, I honestly You're like a lot of people i know <laughs> <laughs> i feel like comedy attracts those kinds yeah. I, I feel like, uh... all right so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this is the clos de bois Ooh, for now yeah okay for now you can okay okay here write a write a one on that all right am i is I already See, knew what I was going to pour for you. I already knew how okay, I was going to do it. So we're the gonna... marker doesn't work on there. Let me get one of those posting notes. And I'm yeah, going to put it on there. Just take them all. All right. I'll so the, uh, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't know why I gave these to you. 
Why should you do all the work? You're the guest. Oh, all right. That's so nice. All right. It's been a while. Let's... All right. Boom. That's Here's number. Uh, that's not going to work. Just put it in front right. of it. Just put it in no, front of it. I got it. Okay. okay. No, because I might move it around. All right. You can move a fucking all right, let's do, all right. Let's do the next one. Hang on. Move a fucking I gotta get. I got I to gotta get a Mike Wiley tweet oh, ready. You got to pull up your fucking tweets. I bet I'll get this poured before you get the tweets going. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Wait. You have to block your eyes. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm not looking at what you're doing. I see the corner of your fucking eyes. I don't believe My that. head is not in a good place right now. I got it caught in the banister again. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to get my teeth fixed because I don't want to have any more baby teeth. All right, you're, it's poured. It's poured. All right, just let's go. Let, let, you're, you're, I, I feel like you're pouring that quickly for. Uh, <laughs> well, you have reason. to. Oh, okay, okay. A proper, <laughs> a proper taste is like two ounces, and I poured like three there. Probably. Okay. All right. Probably. All right. Let's see. Let's see if this smells any different than the last one. There. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I can. This this smells a lot. This smells fruitier to me. Fruitier? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a lot more fruitiness to this. Oh, okay. All okay. right. Like a grape is a fruit or something. Well, <laughs> well here, yeah, a grape is a fruit, but here's the thing. got his ass. This, <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it can still be fruit. Max, tell him it can still be fruity. It can, one, one wine can be fruitier than the other. Don't fruit. talk to him. You defend yourself. All right, Max is not. Yeah, I, yes, no, wine can be fruitier smell. than other wines. No, no. No. Wine is a spectrum, okay? <laughs> it's, a spectrum. <laughs> it's an art, James. <laughs> Everything's you know, art. art. <laughs> so, yeah, no, so this, okay. I get a lot more fruitiness than the last one. So I'm going to say this is a better quality wine. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cool. So a little more fruity. All right, I don't Smells know. fruity, all right. Uh, this is drier. I'm getting a little, yeah, not not Drier. as creamy. It's dry. Yeah. I'm not getting as much. See, cream. you know creamy. You know creamy. Now. I know creamy Boom. now. I know creamy now. I don't want to say that too much. Uh, <laughs> 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 you got some uh, some stuff some stuff ready there. Oh, yeah. oh man. So, Sorry, yeah. I've been sitting too far away from this... the mic. I'm just so afraid of chewing. No, it. I can. No, I, I hear you fine. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah. Uh. uh not as creamy, or so, as more creamy. What did you not say? as creamy. Not as creamy. Okay. Oh, now you're going between the two. I don't. I think you have, you, to, you, have to, you have to. You have to no, do that. Indivi- to... You have to do it individually, then revisit them at the end. I think God that's damn. the way to go. Well, who's making the rules here? I just. This did. is your podcast now. No, I'll do whatever you fucking right. want, man. <laughs> you're criticizing me. All right. Oh, we're, we're, we're this is a way. learning experience. I'll way. back the fuck up. Yeah, we'll do it's, it your you, way. You're learning so much. Whatever. Am try, I, try them side by side. Yeah, Pour them all in one fucking I cup. I feel bad now. <laughs> let's, let's just put all the bottles I, in my, one of those like shitty... You're like, like one, of those, one, one, one of those teachers who used to fucking yell at me when I was in like, grade school. I'm a pretty shitty teacher. Mm. Right? That sounds about right. All right. <sighs> all right. Okay, I'm going to say this is... Mm, it, so... Nose wise, it's better. The aromatics, I, the yeah. aromatics, are... aromatics. Nose wise, um, nose this wise. one, I, this <laughs> that's, a, that's such a fucking Chicago <laughs> sounding uh, fucking nose wise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking Chicago PD, yeah. fucking nose wise. This guy fucking did it. <laughs> that's like a gangster name. Yeah. <laughs> well, nose wise over here. Fucking nose wise. He's at the bar drinking lower whackers. You know what I'm saying? Hey, call back to my joke that was. Not appreciated as much on this podcast. Oh, I'm, I'm right. fucking from Michigan, man. What do you want from me? Uh, upper Michigan or lower Michigan? Uh, lower Michigan. It doesn't matter. Definitely. Uh, right. It definitely does. <laughs> <All> <laughs> right. as, the farther north you get in Michigan, the... Uh, so, so so where 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 on that? Well, you've got it backwards for me, right? right? Yeah, uh, okay. right. Detroit. We're trying. Yeah, okay, so I, have that, <laughs> so I have that typical white person Detroit. Like, I'm born in Detroit Mercy, and mm-hmm. then, like, you go through the outer rings. Like, there's stages in a Mario game. Okay. Like, uh, if, not... if, if you ever look up redlining or white flight, mm-hmm. uh, Detroit is the textbook example of that. Okay. So, all right. So taste wise, so this has this is a fruitier smell. Taste wise, I didn't like it as much as the first. So I'm gonna move this over, and I'm gonna put that at the ten dollar <laughs> coated water. Bumped up, bumped up. Yeah, no, we're we'll, 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 gonna do it. Okay, figure okay. it out. All right, so we, we got tweets again. I gotta fucking got race you. Let's go. You gotta. You're gonna try to race me before I get to anything. Hell yeah. But you know fun. what? I'll. I, well, I can't grab anything until you look away. I'll so <laughs> exactly. That's a picture, so I can't see that. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Anti- I'm finally using my bachelor's degree. My wife left me. 
Huh? I get so many compliments on my beard, my DMs are full of barbers. I put the ass in astronaut because I've always been terrible at spelling. <laughs> All right, that was yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got it. Was, you got it. Have, have you poured? Oh, yes. yes. I didn't I go poured. up for the high five. I thought that was a high five. I'm sorry. I thought you were like, I killed it. Well, you nailed that. Finally, this, finally busted yeah. this kid I nailed off. that with you. That's it. Who I didn't realize. I had a, when I, I used to have a coworker who was trying to get me to laugh uh-huh. for the longest time. And and I didn't I, know. You say I used to have a coworker. Oh, he tried to get me to laugh until I murdered him. It's not you. Trust me. Um, no, it's before I, mm-hmm. g- before we were acquainted. Um, okay. Yeah, he, he was like trying to get me to laugh mm-hmm. for the longest time. I had no idea because I'm just pissed off at work all the mm-hmm. time. Really? I mean, I, I, never, I never thought you, uh, you were always pissed off. Well, not at like my coworkers. Right. Just at my well, job. <laughs> <laughs> the people are great. Uh-huh. It's the physical activity uh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so he was like, you know, he finally said something that like made me crack a smile. He's like, ah, oh, glad to see you. you know, like, glad I could light you up. And right. I was like, oh shit. Oh, were you trying to light me up? Yeah, it was just like <laughs> I, I, I was almost offended. <laughs> I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? What, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Know what I mean? I combined that into one fucking word. That's, no, use it, man. You know what I'm saying? No. All right, so I don't know if it's how you poured, but this one has bubbles in it. Uh, you did you surprised? pour it really quick? Is there? Is yes, that, I did. But... Or is there a reason there's bubbles in it? Uh, this is not a champagne, right? Oh, uh, you can have some, uh, you know, I, I, uh, 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 frizzante. What the fuck is that? Frizzante? Yeah, a little That's frizzante. A yeah, it is. Google it. Google it. <laughs> Google, Google, it. Google it. Frizzante. It's Italian for a light fizz. Right? Okay. You can, you can, you can have the bubbles and wine. Okay. But that's not really a fizz. It's a... Uh... Okay, but you you didn't even type frittata right. That said frittata. What are you doing? <laughs> F- Dude, frittata. Yeah. That sounds amazing right frizzante. now. Frizzante. You know what? This would go. Yeah, this there would you go, go. Two Z's. This you would go it. great with a frittata. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if we have a, uh, this would pair wonderfully with an apple frittata. Perhaps peach. Mm, okay. So I Some think form of stone. Fruit. So this is this is as fruity as the other one. I think. Service unavailable. That word doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> you got French. me. You got French me. is fake. Well, it's not French. It's Italian. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Same idiot. thing. Idiot. Well, if, if, no, if, he's you, an idiot. if you want to tell the difference. He's an idiot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm here trying to I will turn this podcast audience. around. <laughs> I'm out here trying to spread knowledge, and you're in here cutting me down, man. No, if you, like, I, honestly, if you want to know the difference between a French and an Italian word mm-hmm. and you're struggling, yeah. uh, go at it with a really stereotypical accent. I go at everything with a really stereotypical. Well, like, no, like, 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 seriously, like, say, like, uh, frizzante. Would you be like, frizzante? Or would you be like, uh, frizzante? I could do both. I, well, I, you know, I'm yeah. a good actor, so yeah, I, clearly I'm, I can sell I'm both. I'm multilingual. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. So I'm getting, I'm getting fruitiness in this one, too. Okay, fruitiness. So I'm getting a good, I'm getting Fruitiness. A good nose. Fruity petals? No. Okay, I don't get that either. I'm no. just asking. You said fruit. Yeah, no, like again, again the uh, the peach nectarine type fruits. Peach nectarine. All yeah. right, is that has that been a common that aromatic has, no, across that has, all? That has been yeah, that has been the the theme. So okay now, so so the one I said. Uh, oh, I guess I should have probably let these breathe and open up. I don't know. I don't know. Do you need to let them breathe? What happens when you, you let should. them breathe? Oh, they oxidize. Okay, so that helps. Do develop we want? The, yeah, I mean, so these these wines aren't developed. It, it, oh. it, as the as the oh, wow. wine begins to oxidate, they release yes. different aromas and flavors, uh-huh. and it changes the way that they taste. Well, I mean, that is what you're doing when you're aging wine, right? You oh. put something in a cellar, <laughs> you leave it there for years, and it tastes different than when you first bottled it. That's yeah. that's that is the idea. Okay. And so you're fighting oxidation in that process, uh-huh. but here, when you're drinking it, you want that oxidation because that's what boosts all of those fruity aromas. Oh, all those so these scents. fruity aromas are going to be boosted soon. Yeah. Oh, right. That's also going to happen as we drink more. Okay. Crazy it? how that works. Is it? Oh, okay. Let's let's do a little taste test. I don't know why I'm nosing. I already tasted it. Yeah. This one. All right. This one. All right. I I taste the alcohol in this one. You taste the alcohol in this one. I do. Really? And I remember the whatever. What, what was that one at the end there? The Mare Soul or whatever. Okay. It said that that was like 14 percent. Or something like that on the bottle there. Okay, I mean that's pretty typical for California wine. Is it? Yeah. Uh, so I thought that was get... a little on the high end, right? It is on the uh, yeah. 
the mm. wine is usually somewhere between twelve and like twenty percent. You can twenty percent. You can wine? get high. Really? You can get high. So we'll, we'll think about I mean, that's it. That's not okay. typical, though, right? No, no. Well, people usually want to temper that. People mm. don't necessarily want to get wasted drinking wine. The, a lot of these people. people? Uh, mm. People who use wine to. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, so people who want to enhance their meals, right? So yeah. like that's the whole idea with food mm. pairings that you're in, uh -huh. introducing something with acid and sugar to help complement whatever you're. Using. Yes. Okay. So, alcohol comes from sugar, right? Yes. California is a warm place. Yeah. Depends on where you're at. Right. Uh, Look at you, Mr. Wine uh, expert uh, over here. You know a little bit about geography. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty, pretty long state. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it can get pretty hot over there, right? Mm. And mm. then as pretty you... Pretty hot. Uh, oh. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, that causes fruit to ripen. What happens when fruit ripens? Um, it gets mushy. Yeah, it gets mushy. What else? What does it taste like? Um, What's the difference between a green banana and a brown banana? Um, I've, I've never ate. I've never you've, eaten you've, a brown. You've never banana. had like a speckly banana. You've never had a bruised banana. You've never had a banana that was just. No, past I don't beat my yellow. banana. Why not? <laughs> 2021. Poor home exists. What you doing? Um, oh, wait, um, well, you've, you've, you've never had an overripe piece of fruit in your entire life. I don't. Uh, probably. What is it like? It's uh, really sweet. It's really sweet. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whereas it's sweeter you know, than yeah. it, exactly. Yeah, right. So I, I, here's, okay, I've experienced that more with plums. I will say it with stone fruit. You and your stone fruit. You got you it. You just said stone fruit was peaches. No, we didn't. We established stone fruit can be a plum or a I, peach. Yeah. So why not? Why were we using stone fruit when it could be anything? Or an just avocado. Said, it's almost like it's marketing. Son of a bitch. Damn. Just blew my mind about avocado wine. Where are we on this? Let's go. Um, so. Right. So. This you one. know, more sugar, more alcohol uh -huh. is where we're getting at because uh -huh. we've already talked about yeast farts out booze. Let's yeast farts out eating. booze. Yeah. I remember that. It's like flocculating. Flocculating, I think that's what that's called. Love that. That's a good word. It is a mm -hmm. fun word. All right. Flocculant. Okay, so this is the third one. I thought it was flocculate. Flocu a flocculant? No, a flocculant. A flocculant. A, fo a flocculant Re of... Refers to the chemical or substance added to a suspension to accelerate the rate of flocculation. Ooh, flocculation. Flocculation. Oh, I'm gonna play Scrabble after this. <laughs> you fucking got it. Flocculation is a process bad. by which chemical coagulant added to the water acts to facilitate bonding between particles. So okay, no. type of flocculant yeast. What are we doing? Flocculant. We're learning. You wanted to educate okay, your masses. Right. Okay, okay. Well, you, do you want to retry everything? The ma well, we were educating ah. the masses about flocculate. Flocculent. As Flocument. As opposed to flocculant. Oh, Flocculent. Flocculant. Uh, right now I'm still Flocculation? looking at mystery meat, so I don't know Sorry. what you're looking for. I'm, yeah, I'm, you I'm, cause I'm I want the secrets. Flocculation. <laughs> Flocculation is the tendency of yeast cells to aggregate together, forming a multicellular mass and sedimenting rapidly from the suspended medium of rising to the surface. Highly flocculent strains do have advantages, namely they can produce. Okay. But, but which is to say that Max is right. <laughs> Max is oh. always right. Validation. All right. I'm not, I'm not I don't I, I don't know much about sommeliers, but I can tell you about flocculation. I tell <laughs> you what. Hey, baby. All right, All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna retry these guys now, and then I'll shuffle them around see see what I got. So let's let's start let's start with the number one here. Number one. All right. All right. Not not getting much of anything there. Not much of anything. And I move that up. Now I'm fucking confused. Number two. What is it? Delicate. Would you describe that as delicate or just water? Water. Okay. Very watery. Water's delicate. Yeah. But well, now I'm getting. I am fucking. I don't know what's you're going on. Right yourself now. Out, you're sucking yourself out, man. Mad. You're not clearing your palate between sips either. Oh, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, we. So, yeah, yeah. The banana guava strikes again. <laughs> well, now I already finished that. All right. Well, now I got to catch up. All right. So we're, we're going to go to this one. Okay. All right, so I'm getting. All right, fruitiness. All right. All right, fruitiness. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, now I like that one a little better. Okay. No, I'm so confused. Oh, ah, okay. Fuck. <laughs> you, you're putting too much pressure on yourself. Man. I am. Well, because this is a pressure situation. I need to know what I'm talking about. If I'm going to do a podcast about alcohol, right? 
sure. I need to. I need to. I need to learn. I need to know what I'm doing here. Yeah. Yeah. You're not, knowledge is power. You probably won't be here yet. N- next time. Uh, you could invite me back. I, I'm not, I don't do much. I will. <laughs> I don't do much. All right. COVID fucking killed that dude. <laughs> All right. Three one two. That's my final. Three hey! one two. Hey, Chicago boy, at it again. <laughs> Fucking doing it! <laughs> All right, do you want me to tell you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you know, I thought it was really cool that you bumped up your first answer because I went pretty straightforward with this because I thought it would turn out. God damn you! Why are you saying three? Why are you saying God so, damn you? So three, one, two. Okay, right? so I got. Wait, no, I got it. Wait, no, I didn't. Wait, what? Okay, so wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. two. So I poured this one first. Because I wanted to go with the expensive one. Because I wanted to see how you would react to Mir So you, you you poured this one first. Yes. that This has been the delicate, pallid right. thing you've been agonizing yeah. over so for this, the last five years. So minutes. this is the first one. So this is the first one. Yeah. So this is Mir... This, okay, okay. Where's one? Let, let's this, see, is okay, one. this is one. That I, I, this is my fault. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay, okay. Let's, so three, uh, okay, one, so, two. Yeah. So this... I, I went by the cards and not uh-huh. the numbers. Uh, right. That's my fault. Mm-hmm. So I thought three. I I thought this uh, three was a Clos de Bois, which I was correct. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 You were <laughs> I'm right. just full of shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 You're just yeah. a contrarian. Uh, I, you know how often I get fucking called that? Jesus oh, Christ. Really? Yeah. Maybe. The only two. Actually, it's because I have opinions. Okay. And I think well, they don't you matter. You should stop that. Yeah. Um, I've been told that a lot. Okay. So. I got that one right. Okay. And then, so the I I switched the other two. You so did. that's not so bad. Right? I know it wasn't. You nailed right. it. I knew that. I knew that. I knew I, what the cheap one was. You did. Right. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. I think I fucked myself up. What did you do? Oh. Oh shit! Wait. I'm, wait. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> oh wait. Not no, you. I fucked that up. This is butter. You can tell. Yeah. Again, because it's really boozy and it's really seamless. God damn you! All right, so whatever. I got, so I so did. I got them so, all wrong. I, so I went. <laughs> okay, okay. I went, we everyone's watching. They could correct Every, me. Everyone, know. everyone is watching. All, all ten people. <laughs> hey, you get a lot of views on your last video. Congratulations, I know. by the way. Well, not everyone um, can be Jordan Holm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Um, yeah, I, I went off with the expensive one because I wanted to see what you'd think right off the bat, mm-hmm. just like blind. First reaction, first wine. I'm assuming you didn't expect me to pull out the twenty dollars. I didn't think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Went to Clos de Bois because mm-hmm. it's the, like the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. You got nothing on that. Mm-hmm. Lots of fun aromatics, and then it, like it wasn't as uh, creamy, mm-hmm. silky. Would you? Would you? I I would call it chunky almost because of the. I got no chunky. Because just because like the way it goes across your tongue and it's kind of it, it it's weird. You would say Clos de Bois is chunky. I would. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's like we're also drinking this warm. It's crazy when you um, chill down a wine; it really pronounces that. It, it mm-hmm. makes the acid pop more and mutes the fruit a little bit. Okay. So, I can maybe chunky. I don't know. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm no, just full of shit. Not no, not not as chunky. Okay. I mean, okay. It's it doesn't go down as as silky, creamy as like I want from like an oaky, buttery Chardonnay. Mm-hmm. All right, and then uh, we got butter, which is just. They're going after that vanilla, buttery profile. You drink it, it goes down smooth, mm-hmm. right? Um, alcohol pops, but it's not, there's nothing offensive. It just tastes, it doesn't taste authentic, yeah. right? Like like you tasted that and you were like, oh, I can smell the booze on this. I can really taste it, mm-hmm. right? Well, nothing, I, I found nothing offensive uh, with, all, with any of them. Like all of them are drinkable, Okay, in my opinion. Very much so. Yeah. Sure. I mean, that uh, drinkable is, uh, what is it? Someone said drinkable is bullshit because gasoline is drinkable, right? Like, you can just drink gasoline. Well, the, it, drinkable meaning, like, I you, you I wouldn't would be, enjoy drinking it. You wouldn't be mad if someone poured you, I, right? If someone poured me a glass of gasoline, do do these I would things be mad. taste? Do they taste <laughs> similar to you? Would you? Do they say it's more similar or dissimilar? Oh, no, they're very similar. Okay. Yeah. But, again, Excuse me. That's, my, that's my virgin palate here. Uh... Tasting Chardonnay for the first time, I believe. 
Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. Someone's been slipping your chardonnay in your sleep. Like, <laughs> 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 Mike's out quick. Get the straw. <laughs> like, uh, um. Yeah. I forgot what we were trying to prove, but I feel like we did it. I feel like we did it. All right. We, I mean, we uh, proved. We proved. I don't that know what I'm sp- fucking doing. <laughs> we proved <laughs> that buttery chardonnay between uh, ten and twenty bucks. You can kind of swap them out, and mm-hmm. you weren't too offended by any of them. Mm. No, honestly, I. I was going into this. I thought I would be all about the butter because uh-huh. I think it does what it tries to do really well. Yes. And I was really enjoying the Wagner family. I felt okay. like I, I, you know, it was in in the land of kerfuffle that knew what was up. I, I guess I don't know. What all, right. all right. Well, we got. Uh, we also have some. Uh, we got some reds now. Yeah, we do have rats. Right. Uh, do I you, am, what do you want me to do with these? Are we just leaving them there? No, they're, yeah, no. Remember the flies? Cool. Them, yeah, there's no flies here, right? You still got those corks? Or do we want to yeah, oxidize yeah, yeah. them? Uh, you know, know, we could. You said oxidizing was a good thing. It is. Well, it's not. It is. It's not? Well, not if you're trying to save it. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, save it. I don't want to. Are you going to drink these later? Not maybe. People, I, do people <laughs> ask you that a lot? Uh, about what? Whether you're going to drink these things later. Oh, on the podcast? Yeah, I feel like I, I, I've, I've watched a couple episodes before coming out. Oh, I, I want to know what I was thinking. getting into. <laughs> I want to show up for fucking um, Eric Andre and just be like, oh my God, why does everything smell like farts? Why do I want to kill myself? <laughs> ah! um, no. Right, no, 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 no. So we I, don't, got, I don't think so. All right. Okay. Yeah, we got some, We got I these guys cups. now. I'm going to take a look at some of uh, the. Uh, what is this? Ah, uh, Aubon Clemat. You were pretty that? close. Aubon. Aubon. Aubon Clemat. Alban. 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 Is yeah. that what what type of word? That's a French word, right? Yeah, it is. But so it's, these this guys, is a California wine. It is a California wine. Well, why wine. do they go French? Oh, uh, they want you to think about French wines uh, when drinking Because it. they think... They are partic- these guys particularly want to make French-style wines in California. That's mm-hmm. what they set out to do. Okay. That's what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And this... So this is the... Uh, this is the one on the higher end of the spectrum. This is the $20... Yes. Uh, very fancy. Very fancy. This is, this yeah, is, very this is their this entry, level, get. entry oh. level Pinot. They have, they have much have, more expensive ones. They have ones. much more expensive ones? Yes, they do. Okay. All right. You can get on yeah. their mailing list. They have a nice They have website. a mailing list. Yeah. Uh, they have an okay uh, website. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. All right. That cool. one. We got this uh, This here, this Mark West Pinot Noir. Now, I was looking this up. Like, um, the, the the prices on this one go, I mean, this, this can go from, like, I've seen this go from like four bucks to nine bucks yes uh depending on where you get so exactly when i make a lot of it you can buy a lot of it Uh uh-huh if you buy a lot they'll lowers the price yeah turns out bulk is affordable if you have that so i just on my note card i just wrote less than 10 on this one cool um appalachian california is that a place appalachian california yeah i thought it was on the east coast appalachian california no appalachian means it's just the area that it comes from right and they're just Mm -hmm. being like it's from california okay and who is mark west I don't fucking know. Okay, is he Mark West? Because <laughs> I don't think it's California. He fuck- I doubt he has anything to do with the wine. So anymore. why did they pick this name? Well, oh. I mean, it was, it's a family. Oh, it's a family name. It's a family name. But in 1978, that's not that old, right? I, Mark I West can still be alive. I I doubt that. No. Not, not, not honestly, drinking, I, not, honestly, not drinking this. Will honestly, <laughs> out of all of these wines, that yeah. has the least amount of information on it. Like, uh, like, I'm sure there's a story. Mark West I'm sure. Winery specializes in Pinot Noir. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, Sourced <laughs> primarily from California's coastal Appalachian. <laughs> These vineyards provide, I don't know. Yeah. It's you not got a small been. print, but yeah. No. Uh, I, I read that. I'm sure we could look I read that in the style of uh, noir. Was that, was that, that what that was? That's what that was. <laughs> I thought noir was a little more alcohol-laden, <laughs> cigarette, <laughs> like, you know, <sighs> So what's all this contained sulfides? People like people are always worried about sulfides. Yeah, so uh, sulfides are used to preserve different products and add longevity on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Right? That's part of the pasteurization process. Mm-hmm. There are sulfides in everything. Everything. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, everything. We're made of sulfites. We're sulfites? made of yeah. sulfites. Well, we're made of carbon, but sulfites are in there. <laughs> you know, I, I guess. <laughs> they're they're bumping around. Yeah. So uh, you know, sulfites are just a part of nature. Mm-hmm. They just happen. Naturally, sulfites. So why do people from... not like sulfites? Because again, the sulfites have the association with preservatives, and people mm-hmm. try to avoid those because people mm. think of um, 
uh, embalming fluid and shit like that. Uh, like people think, oh, this is terrible for you because of all the right. sulfites. So well, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like it's like people avoiding gluten even though they don't have celiac disease. Exactly. Uh, what are you doing? Right. Think about it for just a second and you realize you're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Deloche, right? Deloche. Deloche. I like Deloche. <laughs> I'm uh, here for it. Wine and Spirits, 12 time winery of the year. Deloche Vineyards. Is that correct? Are they the 12 time winery of the year? Sure. And what 12 times were this? I honestly, if I'm telling you, I do not read wine bottles. If you're telling me, you are telling me. I yeah, I guess you got me there. Um, you don't, I don't. Uh, I you know, if, you don't if read wine, wine bottles. What do you read? If they, if you don't they, read wine bottles on the toilet. I just look at them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I look at them. This looks good. Yeah. I, yeah. If, so if what, a wine <laughs> needs to sell itself to uh-huh. me, yeah. clearly there's a reason it has to. Right, you look mm-hmm. at this. You, you look at Alban. Mm-hmm. What's that? You got your government warning. Yeah. You got your. You gotta have your government warning. You got you got the name of the winery. Right. You got what it is. Uh huh. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. Yeah. After you drink a lot of wine, you can be like, oh, wine from this area tastes like this. I know what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. And do you know that? Uh, sure. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I do. I you know. You don't millenni- have to be I'm ashamed a, of it. I no. I'm just a millennial, and I have like imposter mm-hmm. syndrome. Like it's just it's it's just what we're raised with. It's in yeah. our blood. Yeah. It's like you don't know what you're fucking talking about. All of our politics are infantized. It doesn't. You know, I, I, yeah. That's where I'm at. All right. Sure. I'm glad to know where you're at. All right. Okay. Let's drink. Let's drink. All right. So get we'll get those wines. I'll get these tweets ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking line them up, dude. Yeah, I'm going you line up. You line up those cups. I'll uh, I'll line up these tweets. I said Candyman three times, and my mirror told me I needed an HBO Max subscription to review that content. <laughs> the thing that upsets me the most is not that my school bully beat me up every day for my lunch money. It's that he invested all of it in Bitcoin and is now a millionaire. Have you finished porn? Yeah, I did. I was just listening. That bully was me. Yeah. (laughs) I wish. (laughs) Yeah. This 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 one's got some bubbles. Yeah, we got some bubbles going on. All right. So now we're in the red. This so this is more. This is what I am like. uh, Again, I'm not familiar with wine, but I am more familiar with uh, with with this guys here. So. You, you, Pinot, you, you, I've had Pinot Noir. You're, you're experienced with it, right? Yes. You gotta... I've had an experience with it. <laughs> Was it a sensory experience? Mm. I mean, it's a taste. That's a sense. Yeah. All right. So, oh, you, yeah, we gotta, you gotta roll it, right? Yeah, you I mean, gotta, it's just to see. It? You kind of just look that? at the. You, honestly, are, you, are you looking at it, or is it doing something in the I, aroma? Uh, uh, you know, allegedly. Well, I mean, yes, it is doing something with the aroma. It's like when what you look at when you when you look at decanters. Again, we're talking about oxidation, right? Yes. When, when when you look at a decanter or a really I'm, fancy, I'm really looking at red wine glass, they're really fat at the bottom, and they have a tulip, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. They're the thick. tulip they're is thick, they're, if you will. Thick. Mm-hmm. Eh, not that thick. Um, they, they shatter pretty easily. Uh, <laughs> you shattered these nuts. Oh, <laughs> fucking got them. Um, you know, the whole idea is to spread out the wine and get oxygen mm-hmm. in there. And you, so know, you, you want to pu- oxygen. You want to pump up those aromatics, man. Pump you want to pump up that flavor. You want to let the wine breathe a little bit. I All probably right. actually should. Just yeah, you let the that. wine breathe. You're not letting the wines breathe. No, I didn't. They're suffocating, oh, man. They're fucking screaming. Suffocate. Can't you hear them? Uh,. Yeah, and uh, it, it, you know, people, you know, when you look at wine, you you, uh-huh. you do a visual assessment. There, uh-huh. the, you you use all your senses that you can to look at it. So yes. you look at it, you know, you look at the color, you compare uh-huh. it to something. Uh-huh. You know, it's got a nice ruby com- thing going you compare on. Compare it to something. Yeah, what like look at that. It? Look at. I, well, Just I'm looking at the Saint Laurent can. Right. It's got some white right. on it. Well, I'm, I'm comparing it. it to these band aids, and, and you they can... look nothing alike. Fucking Columbo over here. You, but you can kind of see through it. It's not quite like solid color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's more of a yeah. medium body. It's not a clear image. You know, that's right. uh, yeah. So that you're doing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, people roll it in the glass. You look at the legs, which are the mm-hmm. streaks. Well, this one has no legs. Uh, well, that's it's, wrong. It actually does. You, you, that's, it, you see the streaks that are dropping down? No. You see the streaks that are dropping? Hey, hold it up in front of the light. All right. There's not much. There's not much, too much. There's, light. Yeah, there are, there aren't too many legs. Oh, uh, I do. I do. I do see that. Yeah. Is that what those are? You, yeah, those, so those are those called legs. Le- those are legs. So right? see I those people? There's legs. Uh, allegedly, <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> no, uh, this yeah. is bullshit. Uh, apparently, that means nothing. I, I don't know. Well, it's I, supposed yeah. to, you're just supposed to look at the legs on the wine. It's uh, it looks pretty viscous though. Yeah, right? it does. Like, yeah, like, a little like, bit it looks vis- like uh, you like, know, it looks like uh, slime like zone. cough syrup a little bit. Yeah, uh, sure. Well, cough syrup is viscous, right? Yeah, it is. 
I don't want. I just don't want to go on. Every liquid say people is are. viscous. <sighs> All right, that was my soul leaving my body. In case you were curious, <laughs> I'm tasting now. All right, what does that taste like? Um, it tastes like booze. No, no, I'm not getting any booze. I got a lot of alcohol in that. Really? Yeah. See, I, I mean, the thing is, I, I'm not a wine drinker, so when I'm drinking booze, you know, like I taste you, you booze. Think, you think? Uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm rubbing not, alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think of the this, heat, mm-hmm. like, like, like what that like across the tongue. I okay. also know where the wine comes from. It mm-hmm. comes from an area that makes yeah, it comes from wines. California. Oh, you got me. Fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, it's it. Yeah, I, it, it tastes a little hot. If okay, that makes I, sense. Get, I can get you a little I mean? heat. I get it's kind of coating the back of my tongue, mm-hmm. getting some creaminess. Is that yeah, the creaminess? So when it gets a silky, there's a little silky. Um, as far as particular flavors, I don't know. Uh, red wine is that the flavor you're getting? Yeah, so yeah, a strong red wine taste. Um, slightly, slightly dry. Um, yeah, oh. no. That's doable. I'm gonna put that. Ra- I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that right in the middle now. Right there in yeah. doable. Okay. Where is? <laughs> wait, where did? Th- oh, here we go. All right. You fucking I'm had gonna- <laughs> Weren't these yellow? Oh shit! We're at that point in the evening. <laughs> oh, is that what wine does to you? You fucking you lose all sense of color. Yeah, you go, you right. go back to 1920. And start fucking- <laughs> oh, because this is Pinot Noir. Yeah, hey, Pinot Noir. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all right. Boom! I'm putting that. I'm putting that right in the middle. Look at that. And, uh, and I'm gonna say that's Deloche for now, Deloche. And we're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna pour another one. Let's go. And I'm gonna read a fucking tweet Do, if dude, I can remember. Pull up a tweet. Remember where shit was. Shit okay. is. Uh, 150 years ago, most people could, most people could only afford one family dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> The positive thing about when I'm dead and buried is I'll finally be a landowner. All right, all right, we got a point. We got a point. All right, no, okay, I was okay. on a roll. I'm just sitting here thinking about the <laughs> like the family dick pic and the logistics of that because we're talking about um, what are we talking about? Uh, gosh, shit, what the fuck is that called? Not coke to get chrome. Uh, what are they, they? They use silver to take pictures. I forgot. They the use silver. Yeah, they use silver. Old school. Old school. So you that's that's why. Uh, cameras were deadly to werewolves. Yeah, you fucking got them, dude. <laughs> Back in the day, that's why there were never any pictures of werewolves. Oh. How'd they make all those movies with Boris Karloff, though? Because he was a vampire, <laughs> and they just dressed Wait, him up. Th- <laughs> is there a carryover between Silver and? Yes, he was a mummy then. What the fuck? How do I know? <laughs> You're the cryptid. <laughs> That was really good. <laughs> this one doesn't have as why, good why legs. Are you doing a podcast, man? What? Oh wait, no, no I'm legs. Seeing, no I'm legs. seeing some legs. You, can, you know, like going for a walk. Yeah, yeah. No, it's going. Yeah, no, it's, it's got some legs to it. To it. So what? Right up my nose, down my mustache. Nice. All right. This smells exactly like the other one. I don't know about that. No. What are you getting? What do you? I get, get more candy. You get candy? What kind of candy? Uh, red candy? I don't know what I'm saying. Like grandma like, candy? Like those like those grandma strawberry, like those those things that have like the oh, strawberry okay. wrapper. Like I yeah. get that. That I'm kind of that. Strawberry. Yeah, I, like a little, little, little jammy. But yeah, like, jammy. Yeah, Look yeah, at yeah. you. Come oh, on. Fucking adjectives. Yeah. Uh, fucking, I'm all about adjectives. You should hear my adverbs. <laughs> I'm not going to use any, but fucking, we're going to save those for <laughs> after the podcast. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, let's see what this tastes like. What you got? What you got? Huh? I'm getting uh, I'm getting a slight rubber. Rubber. Like I was, ta- I was talking about before, but this isn't a monsters in my pocket. This isn't a monsters. This okay. is uh this is a tire. This is more of a tire rubber. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. This feels like it's it's seen some mileage. Dude, I think you could be a Somalia. Mm. You're on it. If you're not a Somalia, what fucking hope do I got? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I I come from a lower socioeconomic background than those guys. I don't. I only, I only know I only know a mead. Um, I, I'm a I'm a mediator. Oh, oh. shit! I was gonna right? say you only drink a. Uh huh. Only drink that uh, bee juice, huh? All right. 
Yeah, I'm preparing for you. I'm lighting them up now. Okay. What do you got? Gonna, what do you got? What do you got? I'm gonna, Lay it on me. Is it is it light? Is it heavy? Full bodied? Medium bodied? I'm gonna say that's full bodied. You're gonna call it full bodied. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, it's hold round. It, hold it up. It's round. Light. Hold I'm it up. Feel, well, okay. Round. It's round. Yeah. Okay. I've heard that word before, and I, I'm feeling it like with coat in the back of my tongue, and I'm feel yeah. No, I'm getting I'm getting a lot of I mean heat heat on the back of my tongue. Heat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's alcohol, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But that's a flavor. Alcohol is a flavor. It does. It's better than nothing, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's how people <laughs> feel about alcohol. It's just as good as anything else, huh? All right. So where where does the just as good as anything else go? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that's the that's the twenty dollar one. Ooh. For ooh, now. Ooh. Okay. 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 All right. Let me cleanse my palate. Oh man, I probably should have done that at some point. Oh, should I be should I be swooshing it? Oh, uh, you can. Oh, is that gonna help me? Allegedly, like I, sometimes it does for me, sometimes it doesn't. Really, mm-hmm. you want to, uh, um, you do the I, what's what's the best way to here? I don't know you what do you're that. even you, doing. You, you hold the liquid in your mouth and yeah. then you suck it in, suck in oxygen through your teeth. Wouldn't and that, that helps oxidize is, it? That sounds like it's how you drowned. Uh, yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. know, you have to be careful. You mm-hmm. can't be a troglodyte and do this. Yeah, um, yeah. You do Cho- need chocolate. To think, uh, chocolate. Mm, chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fucking chocolate. <laughs> give me the give me the Easter bunny all day. Um No, so the whole thing is like you you smell with your mouth, right? You don't actually like you, you, you don't or, or you taste no, I, you taste with your nose. There <laughs> you go. That's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what when I'm, I'm doing cocaine. So when you, when, <laughs> hey, hey, shit. <laughs> um no, when you uh, you, you you taste with your nose, right? Mm-hmm. Like you have uh you know, sweet, salty on your tongue, right? Everything yeah. else mm-hmm. um goes through your nose. Hmm. It's aromatics. Okay. So you put a little liquid in your mouth. Yes. Uh, drag some oxygen over that bad boy. Drag it. And the ophelary, which is that ball. The ophelary? Yeah, ophelary. Is, is that what it's called? Am I wrong? Oh, no, no, no. this is the first time I ever heard this word. Okay, come on, Google man, pull up the fucking He's still ophelary. on the yeast fluctuation chart. He's not even paying attention. Uh, he's like, hey, mm. the fucking time's running up. Let's wrap this up, boys. <laughs> um... I was hoping for it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Larry. Oh, He's asleep. Oful. Anyways, um, yeah, you, you, it, you know, you drag a little oxygen over that. Hopefully, it pumps up the aromatics and you taste more. Okay. You get a better sense of the wine. All right. Well, let's go get another sense of this last wine. All right. All right. All let's right. Go. So you report. All right. Let's see what, see what we got over here. Hey guys, I, uh, I set up the fingerprint sensor on my iPhone without washing my hands first. Now I have to eat Cheetos in order to access my bank account. Pigs in a blanket is the ultimate comfort food. That's it. That's all. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, I know. All right, the final one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. you need more in your glass so you can try them later. No, I'm fine. No, I, I know what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna, Shit, my dude. Palette. Double fist day. (laughs) (laughs) Palette cleanser, booze, palette cleanser, booze. (laughs) All right. You're a fucking rock star. What do you got? This is, uh, this looks a little, this looks a little, little, uh, little less dark than the others. Really? You sound like that it shouldn't be the case. I want you to second guess yourself. Ah, you (laughs) far. Can I tell you, can I tell you my hypothesis? What is your hypothesis? I thought you, I thought, I thought, uh, (laughs) fuck off. I thought <laughs> you would all, all the Chardonnay would be a little bit more homogenous for you. Homogenous? Yeah. What does homogenous mean? Uh, they, they'd be pretty same same. Like a okay, pretty they were. similar. They were. And I think the I th- I, th- I think you would be more attuned to the Pinot. Well, we'll see when I go back and try. I know. It. I, right. That's why I wanted to throw you off and make you second guess yourself. Mm, okay. I'm getting Pinot. Ah, oh, oh. I got my nose in there. Oh, oh shit, dude. It. Is that bad? Is that bad? Am I going to die? (laughs) Can you do drugs on YouTube? I don't think you can. I think that gets you demonetized. Uh, I don't have enough fucking subscribers to be monetized. (laughs) Didn't want to go there. (laughs) (laughs) Just going to let that sit in the open. (laughs) I'm going to correct myself. All right. right. Now that I got liquid in my nose, let's give it. (laughs) You get a real sense of the one. You did say taste with your nose. Hey, you got me. I thought I was doing Uh, this right. Hey, uh. I don't think I did that right. Oh, Damn it, I was on the shit. wrong camera for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. 
You're, you're really aggressive with that. You have to like. I don't know how to do it. Take your time. It's okay. I, I it's am wine. getting. I am getting more flavor though. Ooh, more flavor. Uh huh. That's what I want, right? Is it? Is it a good flavor? Is. <laughs> All right. I don't. I'm. I'm drowning. Yeah. I, I <laughs> no, gotta stop okay. doing that. You gotta. Okay. Maybe don't drink as much. I don't. I. Don't okay. tell me what to do. <gasps> All right. Okay. So. I feel that. This is a lot more heat. Um, I'm gonna say this is a higher alcohol content than the others. Okay. Um, uh, you can't cheat. You can what do you mean I can't here. cheat? I can't look at the. You want to look at the bottle? Go look at the no, bottle. I'm not gonna look at the bottle. I don't want to cheat. You're the one that wanted to have some sort of challenge here. All right. I, I didn't want to have a challenge. I just wanted to. Have I, was, a I was like, let's so drink gross shit, own. and you're like, let's do a thing. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right. Ah, <sighs> fuck. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna say. Oh, all right, we're gonna. I'm gonna put this there. I'm gonna and I'm gonna retry. I'm gonna retry everything. Okay. So right. wait, wait, we got what? One, two, three. Right. That's where we're Correct. at. Correct. Okay. Do it here. I'll spin them yeah, around. Yeah. Show me the numbers so I don't like throw us through a loop and derail <laughs> everything for five fucking minutes of valuable time. Yeah. Stop derailing my podcast, idiot. All right. You can just swish it in your mouth. You don't have to do the inhale thing if it fucks you up. I, you know, exhale. Whoa. Whoa. I got, I got exhale. It. Exhale, like, violently. I don't know. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that should have tasted different, though. You should have gotten some sort of experience, I though. I did get an experience. <laughs> All right. I want to, I want to, I'm trying to, see, I'm trying to taste, tasting these quickly because I want too much dead air here. I, I, what do you want me to talk about? Oh, I didn't plug my wife's book this whole time. Probably no, we'll do that at the end. Okay, cool. It's all right. It's poured. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. What, you, what, you don't have a book to plug? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm currently. Maybe I should have gotten your wife I'm on the podcast. Yeah, you should have. She's <laughs> way more fun than I am. Like, with the, I, I just sit in the background and say shitty things and make an ass of myself. Oh, yeah. Like everyone I've had on this podcast. <laughs> fucking nailed it, I guess. I don't All know. right. Okay. Okay. This, okay. Okay. I, okay. So far, uh, yeah. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. What is this? Uh, number number one is the Mark West. Um. Cause yeah. Uh. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting much flavor off of that. Okay. All right. So what is that? Two. All right. All right. I'm gonna thank you. I think you did the same thing. I'm going to go Ooh. one, two, three again. Ooh. Final answer. Bam. God damn. All right. You ready? All right. Yeah. Ready for so this? I got the Mark West at less than 10 uh, the, uh, as number one. Uh, the number two, Deloach at 10. And number three, all the Buon Clemat. You know, uh, if I did the same thing again, I would have poured the Aubon first. Okay, well, maybe you didn't do the same thing again. I don't know. Uh, shit, Am I'm I sorry. right? Ah, uh, No. Kind of. Actually, three is Alban. You got it. You okay. nailed it. Yeah, yeah. Right that, that on was, the fucking this, this money. This was good. Yeah, yeah. It was really good. I, you mm. know, I don't drink a lot of their stuff, uh-huh. but it's tasty. Uh, I did the Deloche first. Okay. And the Mark was. Okay. You put it at 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Good job. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, these are these two are close enough. Well, they're actually made totally different. The, okay. Deloche? <laughs> well, uh, Deloche is a big organic. <laughs> this is made with meat. Hmm. Pretty much. Instead of grapes. Actually, you'd Weird. be surprised what they fucking use in <laughs> biodynamic and organic wine. Uh-huh. So Deloche is a big is apparently big on organics and biodynamics. Uh, organics is a legally defined thing. Biodynamics is like holistic meats organics. So they fill like a cow skull full of shit and bury it in the fucking vineyard type of like thing. That's fucking metal. Hell yeah, <laughs> dude. Sustainability is badass. That's what I'm all about. All so right. what do you think? How do you feel? I, How do I, you feel going into this blind and then seeing your opinions play out? I feel I still don't know what I'm talking about. That's okay. I barely do. I, 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 they've been making wines for so long. I had so fun. Long. Uh, I mean, uh, I had a really good time. I did not hate anything I've tried. Okay. Okay. Um, which that, is I mean, not the... true with some other episodes we've done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But that's the that's the goal though with that everyday uh, wine price, uh-huh. right? You you know they want this to be approachable. They want this to be fruity. They want you to enjoy it, right? Uh-huh. So there yeah. you go. All of these all of these are are things I could drink uh, on a daily basis. 
And so, like for me, yeah. the biggest like stressor in my job is dealing with people's anxiety with picking out wine. Right. Everyone's like, I, I I don't drink, I don't like expensive wine, I don't know right. anything about it. What's the problem? Yeah, that's like, what whatever. I was worried about. And it's like, cool. Well, you fi- you figured out. You're like, yeah, of course, I like the twenty dollar bottle more, but right. these were fine. Yeah. There you go. That's awesome. what I'm saying. Let's stop being assholes about wine. Stop being on. assholes about stop wine. Stop watching an right? episode of Friends or uh, watching uh, Sideways and taking all of your opinions <laughs> from that. Like, uh, that's a, oh my God, dude. Sideways killed Merlot. If that, oh, yeah. means, <laughs> if that means anything, if that means anything to you. That's uh, It straight up did, and like people are still recovering. Mm. All right. Well, hey, thank you for being on the podcast. Thanks for having uh, me. Yeah. No, I hope, fun. I hope something was gleaned. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but like I had fun. Um. Anything you'd like to plug? Yeah, my wife's book that should be releasing soon. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Pornographic. <laughs> All right. well, okay. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, um, um. So it is fantasy erotica. Okay. We're going for, like, Lord of the Rings meets sexy nice. Lord of the Rings. Right, right, right. Lord of the Rings meets sexy Lord yeah, of the Rings. Yeah, we can keep it going while I talk about this. You can keep that playing. I'm not going to – I can just say that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, uh, you know, she's going out, making a really involved fantasy universe, and – writing about something she's passionate about. Uh-huh. Um, so it's called The Orc King's Harem. All right. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. You're typing this in like this is a thing yet, and it's not. Oh, okay. It is a <laughs> genre people dabble in. She oh, wants to, dabble. she wants to, yeah, 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 yeah they dabble. They, <laughs> especially they, when reading this book. They dribble <laughs> when they read this book, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um yeah, you know, she's put a lot of work into it. She's working for a long time. Uh-huh. She wants to sort of defuse the racism surrounded by orcs because uh, it they like historically, uh, this is something that you know J.R. Tolkien came up uh-huh. and w- came up with, and there are a lot of uh, complicated issues surrounding that. And uh-huh. she just wants to create like a really cool monster fucking book about. Uh-huh. Monster fucking. Uh, about, <laughs> about, you know, masculinity that isn't toxic and a character confronting that. And then, you know, you have a woman who has her own agency in a harem, which is a weird thing to say. And here we are. Sounds great. It's really cool. Awesome. I'm reading it. I'm working uh-huh. on it. I'm working on it. She gives me a lot of shit for not finishing it. She just... Yeah, you're not, you haven't, you're not finishing we're, it? We're in the first stages. We're editing it right now. It's it's going to go on Amazon when we drop right. it. Um, she wants you Orcs title to be yet? the next... Uh, what? What did you say? Did you I, have I did have the title. It's called did The Orc s- King's Harem. Oh, okay, okay. I th- Orc King. I he has that. a he has a group of bitches. Uh-huh. They have a good time. Yeah. Hey, you're talking about this this, this masculinity, this toxic masculinity. <laughs> yeah. Don't call them bitches. Okay, when I say bitches, I mean the royal bitches. Oh. I'm bitches. You're bitches. Ooh. We're all bitches. You know what I'm Better saying? Be. I understand right. it's a gender term. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> fuck me. All right, James. What do you got? Uh, stand up, stand up is back. First Fridays at District, uh, the fifth of November. Remember, remember, Dale McPeak will be headlining, running his half hour uh, to uh, try and whip up his hour for his album recording on November eighteenth at Lincoln Lodge. So please get tickets uh, at standupstandup.net. They are fifteen dollars online, but if you use code Plastered Cast. Uh, we will knock five bucks off of that. So you get ten dollars tickets if you use code plastered cast for stand up stand up. That's at uh, District fifteen forty North Milwaukee first Fridays of the month. Uh, Standupstandup.net for tickets. And I am Mike Wiley. I am uh, at Mike Miley on most social media. Uh, this is Plastered Cast. You can find us on uh, on YouTube, on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, anywhere you can find podcasts. Uh, also run uh, Still Not Friday uh, on Thursdays at uh, Two Brothers Roundhouse in Aurora, uh, 8 o'clock. Um, and there's uh, there's one more thing we do. One more what's thing that? we what's do. That? You you, just not, you don't say what's, what's that? that. You've watched episodes. You should know. Uh, <laughs> we should have a conglomeration of everything we've tried. Yeah. There it is right there. Uh, and- we need the very first pour in there. I finished it on accident because I forgot. Oh, cool. you, hey, you know what was the very first, first pour? It, it was yeah, this guy. It was that guy. All right, so let's get let's get that in there. And uh, uh, this, uh, I believe this is a king's cup. 
I believe that's what you're doing. Ooh, a king's cup. There's a term for it? I thought that's God what that was it. called. Fuck yeah, dude. No, well, that's no, good. I thought we I'm just here bringing something. knowledge. No, we didn't invent it. That's called, I mean, I called it jungle juice, but this is yeah. fucking a king's that's, cup. Gra- gra- yeah, grab some some king's cups. That's a great there. segment <laughs> name. I'm going to get a <laughs> royal <laughs> sound drop for that. You're like, oh, we have a wine <laughs> expert. I'm like, we yeah, need, we need three. Oh, we're all drinking it. I thought that was like a... We've all drinking everything. I need I thought, another I one. thought your boy was drinking the whole time. Oh, wait, he's not going to drink out of that one? It's his fucking cup. Uh, I guess he can. You better well, believe I just it. I broke that one, so. Yeah, it sounded like it. <laughs> I, all you. right. There you go, James. Thanks, buddy. The all king. Right. And his cup. So again, this is Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. I want to thank you for uh, for being on the ca- on the podcast. I want to cheers, cheers, there's wine. Got to cheers. have her pinkies oh, up. Oh, 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 you oh yeah, I did. I'm That's why I got these masks. Drunk. That's fine. I'm a, I'm a real mm. sloppy drunk. If what are you, what are you getting off that? What are you getting off that? What do you got? That's great. That's a lot not of, bad. Uh, a lot of orchard fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of things that yeah. grew How, do, uh, that grew in a... Uh, it tastes like champagne. Do yeah. people ever mix white and red? Yeah, they do. A lot. Okay. Well, Pretty yeah. normal, I, actually. Oh, Surprisingly, it's 2021. Were... <laughs> people are doing crazy <laughs> shit. So you actually you can mix white wine with red wine. Uh, people use Viognier usually, and that actually boosts the red aromatics. So mm-hmm. people do that a lot. Um, uh, champagne. You can only grow three grapes in Champagne. Really? Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. So Pinot. we're basically drinking Champagne right now. Okay, without the bubbles. That was a really shitty thing to fucking say. Some French man had a heart attack with me saying that. Good. Um, the more yeah. French people that have a heart attack watching this podcast, the better. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a good po- plaster cast. Uh, <laughs> thank you for uh, watching. Uh, cheers. Plastic.